This is Brad at Yamaha Marine Center, 1515 Wells Road, right next to the BMW Ducati store, off of beautiful 295 on the West Beltway. Today, we have a 2018 Curbel 26 Bay. This boat is built to be a family-friendly fishing boat, and we'll show you a couple of reasons why. First of all, we'll cover the trailer. It is a custom-made Road King. Tandem axle, torsion axles, brakes on both, aluminum wheels, nice chrome fenders, nice logo, tongue jack, surge brakes, spare tire with matching wheel, nice upgraded Fulton tongue winch, makes pulling the boat on easy, nice big flare to the boat, you still get a nice steep entry, cut through all the big waves. Those lifting strikes help the boat to plane off a little bit quicker, and then you still have a pretty decent reverse chine all the way through the boat, again, to help deflect water. Uh, nice integrated navigational lights. This one is gray in color. We did the white painted Yamaha 300 with Sea Star jack plate. Has about a six inch setback and about six or seven inches of adjustment, I believe. And nice big integrated trim tabs. Again, trailer features, we got the built-in winch straps, makes it nice and easy, uh, padded guide-ons, Garmin transducer to get all your imaging, down imaging, side imaging, drain plug, another look at the engine, pretty cool custom Cremel logo. Uh, we also put the swim platform on this one, fold down ladder, which then gives you access to another little storage bucket which you can use like an insulated cooler you got a little freshwater shower after you get done swimming another feature being at the sandbar you get a fusion remote to control all the music from outside the boat when you're floating around uh, beam on the boats 86 length overall is about 25 feet 6 inches and then add a little bit more for the engine uh, pretty easy to board the boat from the water nice big swim platform casting deck everything folds flush out of the way no hardware to trip over uh, fit and finish on the boat is phenomenal <clears throat> all rounded edges which contribute to strength uh, gel coat finishes are superb uh, no gas shocks to get in your way for your, for your release wells if you're running bait out of there uh, dip nets things like that there's no shocks to get in the way everything's pretty well integrated so you can put your standoff pipe down in here to keep the bait from swimming out. Uh, rounded edges to keep them from beating themselves. That's your wash down hose that plugs right into the raw water there. Some under gunnel storage. Some other things you can notice to fit and finish on the boat again. All uh, lids and hatches are finished on both sides. Resin transfer molded to make two pieces solid into one. Stainless gem welts hardware all over the place. Uh, jump seats. Really nice in the center of the boat. Gives you a little bit better weather protection. There's some additional rod holders we added to blue water that don't have the exposed hardware. Another cool feature is the whole seat lifts up to give you access to what I kind of call the fish box. So you can use this Yeti right here for food and drinks. And it's on a sliding track. All you gotta do is unlock it and the cooler stows all the way back under, locks back into place, gives you access to your nice tackle center as well. Drawers on both sides, tackle, storage in here for tools, and then the cutting board stows away in here perfectly. Nice clean finish, a couple more rod holders. Quick look at the top, more rod holders, kingfish holders. LED spreaders, freshwater mister, speakers, multicolor LEDs, e box. Almost nothing this boat doesn't have. But here's our little latch to pop our seat open. So you pull that one away. Pull up on the seat. Locks into place. Again, finished on both sides. Cool touch adding the Crevel logo in there. Sorry about the dirt down here. Boat cleaners always miss something. 
but at least all the ugly stuff's down in where you really can't see it. Nice big open access. Pumps, water management. Everything's up out of the water. Pumps are vertical to shed water a little bit better. The auto switch on the bilge. Get to your drain plug from inside the boat in case you forget it to put it in at the ramp. I know we've never done that before. That way you can take your fish from your fish box to the dock. Food and drink stay clean in that one. Move on to the leaning post. Adjustable bolsters, armrests, to the sea deck, double thick on the mat, and then on the steps there, kind of complete the look up into the dash, all push button LEDs, auxiliary input, USB, and then 12 volt charger, glove box, which we can't option with the second screen down here, flush mounted Garmin, power assist steering. Jack plate switch, Garmin VHF 300, electronic throttles, very well laid out boat, another rod holder there, fuel fill head access, and this is where you'll notice all the little details, fit and finish, all the wiring's nice and clean, beautiful job they do, a little porta potty in there for you. And then again, well thought out details. Safety gear goes in the gunnel walls. So you're not wasting good storage space. We did upgrade the stereo on this one so you get a subwoofer. A little bit of upgrade on the speakers. Courtesy lighting. Front seat. Which also hides the bait well. Nice big bait well. And then the seating up front is what really adds that family friendly touch. If you notice the backrests are aft facing. That's if you're sitting there entertaining, and then the backrest actually just pop right out, and you can swap sides, kind of use it like a bow rider. One thing is they are a little cumbersome, so if you're out on the water already, trying to stow these things in the head, it's kind of a challenge. It's like putting together Legos or something. But if you know you're gonna go fishing, I usually leave them at home. If you're gonna go cruising, put the cushions on and let everybody be comfortable. They do come off fairly easy again it's just the storage that becomes a little bit of a hassle nice big boxes this is rod storage over here lockable again you'll notice the use of friction hinges instead of the gas shocks uh, just keeps everything nice and clean out of the way uh, five rod tubes for lockable storage floor storage here five gallon bucket all your trolling motor batteries fit in here it's really nice pre-wired up to the front switch. Come back up to the deck. The center storage, this one we optioned with a fish box. So this becomes part of the port side. Insulated fish box, and there's your five gallon bucket full of cleaning supplies. <clears throat> so port side, drains overboard, curves around into that center area again cushions out of the way a little bit more storage up front and then your anchor locker trim switch for the engine and then your trolling motor plugs in there that's nice pop-up cleats plenty of room for trolling motor new Alteras uh, motor guides all the new GPS stuff works well on this boat Turn around and give you a good look. Again, seating, beautiful hard top, a lot of weather protection. Great boats for the area, inshore, offshore, about 12 to 14 inches of draft. Uh, it's a beautiful thing for families and fishermen alike. If you want more information on the boat, uh, please feel free to give us a call. Again, it's Bradder Barton at Yamaha Marine Center, 1515 Wells Road in Orange Park. Website's Yamaha Marine Jacks.